Let's go fill up the ice. My, it's my morning routine. It's filling up the ice chest with hotel ice because hotel ice tastes better because it's free. Not really free, but it's it's hotel ice that you paid for by getting the room. Okay, let's go do that. See, this hallway, if you go back to the other hallway that we're at, it's not quite as interesting, so it's not quite so the shining as it looked. I mean, I mean, it is a hall, but I don't know. It just doesn't, it's not just not quite as spooky to me. So, oh well, let's go get some ice. So, right now we are at a Love's truck stop. I love these places. They're always nice and clean and they have everything you need. And um, so, we're about 50 miles outside last time I, I left you from the hotel. But um, that one cup of coffee that I got at the hotel wasn't gonna do it for today. It's like on the third day of a road trip when you're going a long way, you kind of reach that point where coffee kind of works. You got like the five hour energy drinks, uh, those little shot things of five hour energies. And uh, you gotta kind of mitigate how you do all that. So I was just talking to the lady in there and I was like, do I start the day with like one of these? And she said, no, start with the coffee, then go to the five hour energy later. And I have to say, I think that's good advice. So I'm gonna be doing uh, this coffee right here see 
look at that. It's like it's like movie magic. So you got the milk, you got the coffee, and this is always the exciting part. I don't know, it is for me anyway. Because that means I'm gonna be able to drink that coffee here in a second. But uh, let's take a look around. That's at Love's truck stop there every once in a while on the freeways and super cool places. I haven't seen clouds like this in a long time. So looks like we're gonna get a little rain today at some point. kind of breezy right now just like a little gusty here you know but not bad it's nice okay um, I'm gonna jump in the truck and um, put the lid on the coffee start drinking it and start driving I'm on the road see you next time and it starts to sprinkle for those in Los Angeles or on West Coast. This is rain. Well, it's not rain yet, but this is what happens in other parts of the country where water falls from the sky in various amounts. And this is what you would call mist. It's like misting. Yeah. Uh huh. So, this is the very first mist of the trip. And, uh, yeah, so all the way through. The western United States with no mist and then we are in Texas and now we have mist which I'm sure will turn into rain at some point and I will show you when it does so there you go until then this is like in the rolling hills of Texas we're about 40 miles outside of San Antonio and um yeah, it's just kind of like a rolling countryside, not really flat anymore. And, um, it's, it's a nice ride. It's a nice ride, nice scenery, trees. There were trees last night, but it was night. So now it's the daytime, so you can see trees. And um, there weren't many trees in the desert. Like, there were like zero trees in the desert. So it's kind of nice to see some trees. So let's see, where are we? We are born on Highway 87 business. I don't know. Anyway.
right, so, so check this out. So, okay, I am in Houston. Now, Houston is where I grew up, and my mom lives in Houston. So, she doesn't know that I'm here. And um, right now, I've never been to her shop. It's, she, she has this, uh, this place called Antiques and More in, um, in Ashford Village Center. So, I don't know if you can see that sign. Might be a little, uh, anyway, maybe you can see that sign. No, you can't see any sign. Anyway, it's Ashford Village Center. It's called Antiques and More. And, um, and she has all kinds of awesome stuff. And um, I'm about to call her up. And uh, so you're gonna, we're gonna do a little joke. So, okay. So that's, that's what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna go over here. Well, I know what I'll do. So I wanna, I wanna show you the front. I wanna show you the front of the, uh, of the sign. So, and that will be away from, away from the door so that she can't see me. All right. <laughs> I hope she's there. I mean, what if she's like, you know, went to go get some stuff and she's with the client or something and she's not here? That would suck. But uh, anyway, okay. So this is, okay. That sign right there, antiques, that's mom's store. So it's 1801 Ashford Village Center. So, okay. I'm gonna give her a call. All right, let's call her. Hey, your mama. What are you up? What are you up to? You're sitting at your desk. What desk? Yeah, that was oh, you're at the shop? Pricing Toby mugs. Oh, right on. So, so you're so you're you're busy then. Okay. You're not busy? What? Oh. Um Oh, hang on just one sec. <laughs> I just hung up on her. All right, <laughs> this is so funny. She's like, where are you? Where are you? She's totally onto me. She knows what's up. Look at this place. Oh, <laughs> here she is. This is my mom. Oh my Hi, God. mom. Oh my God, it's really you again, Oh, oh my God. You're such you? a cypress so How are you? I'm great, I'm great. Oh. Okay, gotta go. All right, so um, this place is amazing. I'm just gonna give you like a little oh, a little yeah. walkthrough of this place. Yeah, She's okay. got like 30 okay. different yeah. vendors in here. So, I mean, okay, I call dibs on the Victrola. So, I don't know if you've ever want one. So, 1915 for only $800, you too can have a Victrola. I mean, there's just so much stuff like Swarovski crystal. No. What is that? Buttermilk. I don't know anything about crystal, but there's all kinds of cool stuff here. So, got antique furniture. Look at this. Look at this table. I mean, look at this armoire thing. It's freaking amazing. So, vintage candelabra stuff. I mean, I mean, look at this piece of furniture. Yeah, look, listen people. I mean, if you come into Houston or if you're in Houston, you gotta come to Antiques and More. This is uh, from India. Um, I think they've been here since the place opened. One of the, one of the vendors, um, she's got art. All kinds of stuff. Oh, here's something really cool. Okay, this, this is my grandmother's. Okay, so my grandmother, Harry Applewick was Howard Hughes's private stewardess at TWA in the early 40s. This was one of her uniforms. 
So, Antique Roadshow, Fort Worth, Texas. I mean, look at that. TWA, 1940. Yeah, so, in case you didn't get that, my grandmother was Howard Hughes's, one of Howard Hughes's, like, personal stewardesses on his plane. So, pretty cool. Look how tiny she was. I mean, that's like an itty-bitty person. Anyway, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, I mean, look at all this stuff. I don't know, people. Listen, listen, there's so much stuff in here, but if, if you like this kind of stuff, then you just, just come by, you know, I would. It's the first time I've been here, by the way. First time. So I'm seeing all this as, as, as you guys are. So, amazing. Look at that. I mean, I don't even know what that is. It's a big piece of beautiful furniture that's green and gold trim that needs to be somewhere really cool. Let's see. Well, I don't know how much it is. 700 bucks? 700 dollars? That's not much. Is this, is this thing 700 bucks? That thing is... Yeah, it's close to it. It's uh, yes, it's ridiculous. Well, I know, but I mean, it should house, be like it, it should be, be like a million dollars. I mean, I it, that's it's like so amazing. Awesome. It's, it's so. really awesome. awesome, awesome. Isn't my mom awesome? <laughs> Hi, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Hi from Houston. Hi from Houston. All right, I won't bother you anymore. Hi, Picasso. 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 Yeah. Anyway. Monotypes, which I had to learn all about. Monotypes are awesome. I'll tell you about them later. Cool. Yeah. All right. Bye from here. Bye. Thanks for joining. So how cool is my mom? So she is a trip. She's awesome. Okay, so check this out. Right across the street from her shop is the Dairy Ashford Roller Rink. Now the Dairy Ashford Roller Rink, you may ask, what's the Dairy Ashford Roller Rink? I will tell you, it's a roller rink. But the thing that's cool about it is I used to go roller skating there in junior high school. So, right across the street. The Dairy Ashford Roller Rink. I'm not going to go across the street to, uh, to show you, but you're just going to have to trust me that it's a roller rink and, you know, the whole deal where they go fast skate, couple skate. Reverse direction. Okay, we're gonna have the races. So, uh, you know, if ages something through something are gonna be first, only those with speed skates are gonna be next. Um, are gonna be the girls, the girls only, girls only for the next race, all that. Remember that? Did you ever go to roller rinks and do all that? Anyway, so, all in due time. This is all gonna come back, so. More things are gonna come back after this stuff. All right, I gotta get in the truck. I gotta go. I got places to go. Heading to Mandeville. Okay, let's go. And we are back on the 10 in Houston. And like it does in the South, it's uh, it was all wet here only an hour ago and raining. And now it's completely dry, like it was never here. So, yeah. And that is what happens. That's what happens in the South. If you don't like the weather, wait a minute, it'll change. So, and there is a perfect example of exactly that. And uh, cool. All right, we'll pick it up in a little while. So just to give you an example of the way that people drive in different cities, Houston, is one of the cities where people drive like they're on a racetrack all the time. It's like, um, like in LA, there's not there's not really room to drive like this. But in Houston, there's these big giant freeways, and everyone's always in a hurry, like going in and out of traffic, and you know, just basically being insane so uh yeah i i learned how to drive on the streets of houston so if you can if you can drive here you can drive anywhere so 
Yeah. Anyway, that's my Houston Freeway comment. Hey, my friends. So, I wanted to make a tree observation. Um, we are about 60 miles to Beaumont, so, so Beaumont, Texas. So, we are between Houston and Beaumont on the east side of Texas. Now, if you look around, you see these trees on either side of the freeway, and they are much taller here. So, basically, the farther Okay, besides California and the redwoods and sequoias and, and the mountains and stuff like that, I'm talking about the southern United States. So in the southern United States, the farther east you go in the south, the more trees there are and the, and the taller they are. So, yeah, pretty cool. I love trees. So, and trees love me. So, there you go. That's my, uh... That's my tree note for right now. And it's not raining, so that's good. Um, yeah, beautiful, not so much traffic. We've got trees now, and um, it's a great day. All right, until the next one.